Need some coins to make those new beastly pickups? Head on over to GoBuyMMO.com and use code ZERK for a 5% discount on your order. Get those coins, get those players. The whole thing wobbing. is going on guys it is Zerkstrom today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to show you guys how to prepare for the Super Bowl promo and yes we are not using face cam this morning because of course I did just wake up and my hair is looking pretty damn crazy but it's going to be a little bit different on how I'm going to tell you guys exactly how to prepare for the Super Bowl promo than it is from like a normal promo like the team of the year and this has to do with a couple different things that I believe are going to help you out before the Super Bowl promo and actually just about right after the Super Bowl as well. So in my opinion, this is going to be maybe one of my biggest tips of all time. So make sure you guys pay attention to this. But of course, just like every other big promo like Team of the Year, the Christmas promo, of course, yes, you guys are definitely going to want to go ahead and sell your top tier players. Now, fortunately for me, if you take a look at my team, as I actually backed out, but if you take a look at my team, I don't have any players to sell because, of course, Dwight Clark is NAT, and just about every other person on my dang team is NAT. So, unfortunately for me, I don't have anyone to sell, but if you guys do have any big guys, I would definitely go ahead and suggest selling your team. Now, for me, I do have 6 million million coins, so definitely able to buy a team back when I do decide to, but I'm telling you guys right now, if you decide to, tell your, to sell your team, the best possible time to buy back your team is probably Super Bowl Day. Now, the reason for that is what they usually do on Super Bowl Day is they drop a new bundle in the game and it's probably gonna cost $100. I don't think I've ever seen it cost less than $100 for the mega bundle that they're gonna drop. But the topper is going to contain probably a Super Bowl Legend. Now, with that being said, for the Super Bowl Legends, what I expect to see out of these, maybe we get ourselves a Franco Harris, maybe a new Jerome Bettis, a Mean Joe Green, maybe we get Ty Law in the game, I could definitely see that as a Super Bowl legend, I would definitely enjoy seeing Ty Law in the game as well, and maybe for quarterbacks, get ourselves a new Drew Brees, basically, anyone had a very good Super Bowl game, and that doesn't have a super high overall card, and by super high overall card, I mean like 95 overall, because I'd imagine that the Super Bowl Legends probably are going to be maybe 95 the lowest that they do it like they have in years past. Super Legends usually are about the 95 overall and then they go up from there. But with the way the overalls, this, overalls are this year, I can definitely see them doing that again. Now the highest overall Super Legend in years past has been 99. Could I see them giving us a 99 overall Super Legend? Not too sure to be honest i i don't know if ea is ready to release 99 overalls just yet but they may release a 97 98 that we could power up to a 99 not just powered up but i mean like in terms of chemistry so we could definitely be seeing that as a card so definitely be on the lookout for a 99 overall legend maybe but with that being said another thing that i have to show you guys is of course the super bowl matchup is between the Patriots and the Eagles. I almost just said Giants. I'm not sure why I just said Giants, but it's between the Patriots and the Eagles. So, of course, every single time after we have done a NFL game in terms of the playoffs anyways, there's always some limited time cards that come out and in years past, usually what happens is the Super Bowl MVP will get himself a limited time card in the game. Now, if you guys want to really take you, take advantage of this and if you hope that the Patriots are going to win, personally for me, yes, I'm rooting for the Patriots because I'm a Cowboys fan, and I don't want the Eagles to win, so I'm going to go ahead and go with the Patriots, but there's a Patriots Gold Plus Player Exchange Pack in the game. Now, of course, if the Patriots do end up winning, somebody from the Patriots will get the MVP. So, if they have a limited time card, this Patriots Gold Player Exchange is probably your best chance at pulling that limited time Patriots card. Now, of course, this does expire tomorrow, so you guys have to buy this up on Sunday, or early Monday morning so go ahead and do this exchange set and just honestly hold on to these do not open them because of course you want to see if they're gonna win now because these sets do expire on the 29th and unfortunately uh, we actually aren't gonna be getting any more gun unleashed so I don't know if we're gonna be getting any more player changes so uh, another thing actually is to make sure that you guys play your Gauntlet Unleashed this week. Now, unfortunately, 
I did actually record my Gone Unleashed pack opening video, and the file went corrupt, so unfortunately not going to be able to show you guys who I ported the final Gone Unleashed, which I exported 89 overall Vermont Foster, and it goes for like 35k, so not too bad, but I may make a video showing you guys all of my Gone Unleashed pack openings from the entire year. Or maybe just the highlights are like the best ones that I pulled because I did get some pretty dang good pulls this year to my Gun Unleashed. Let me know down below what your guys' best pull to Gun Unleashed was. Auctionable and your NAT. Which one did you get from the best auctionable and best NAT? Personally, for me, auctionable it was 89 Ramon Foster, which I just pulled. It was going for like 35k and NAT. I pulled Aaron Donald. So. Definitely was a pretty good year for me in terms of the Gun Unleashed, but with that also being said, there's another part of this coming out, and it's not so much about the Super Bowl promo, but this will just help you make some coins during the Super Bowl promo, or basically immediately right after as well. The Team of the Year actually expires tomorrow at 10 a.m., which is another reason why I do believe that we're going to be in the Super Bowl promo on Monday, which is the 29th, which is the day after this video is going to be released. So, definitely, I think the Team of the Year Souls get, you know, out of the game. That probably means that these sets are going to be taken down as well, or at least Team of the Year packs, and we're not going to be able to pull Team of the Year players. Now, with that being said, I've actually said this in a previous video, but I want you guys to go ahead and go to Team of the Year, and if you sort by 94 to 95s, you can go ahead and see that these prices are not that high on James Devlin and Kevin Bayard. So they're going for about 110,000 coins each while James Devlin is, and Kevin Bayard is about 130, 140k. Now with that being said, this is just supply and demand. Basically, once this Team of the Year promo is over, you're not going to be able to pull James Devlin, you're not going to be able to pull Kevin Bayard. People are still going to want this card, so these prices, they're going to go up just a limit. Maybe not, you know, an absolute ton, but they will definitely go up in price. So James Devlin, I could see him, you know, settling around 140, 150k, which after taxes, you're making about 25, maybe 30,000 coins each James Devlin that you buy. Now, with that being said, say you have 2 million coins, you buy 20 of them, you're making a pretty good amount of coins, maybe up to 500,000 coins if you spend 2 million coins on James Devlin's right now. So, Go ahead and invest in James Devlin or Kevin Bayard. Their prices should go up now. It's not going to happen immediately. It's not going to happen right after the team that are promos done. It's not going to, you can't expect it to happen on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. But maybe after, maybe next weekend, I'd say next week, like right after the Super Bowl promo is over. So the Super Bowl course is Sunday. Maybe expect prices on these guys to go up on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometime next week. So do not be commenting every single video saying prices didn't go up in James Devlin and Kevin Bayard yet because you guys have to wait for this. It's just a matter of waiting for the market to go through its phase and buy up all the James Devlin and Kevin Bayard. So you just have to be patient with that one. But with that being said, make sure that you guys go ahead and if you want to invest in James Devlin and also Kevin Bayard, it's definitely not that hard as you can see where Eric you just refresh, you'll get some for cheaper. Kevin Bayard, 125k. Next cheapest, 137. James Evan, 108. Next cheapest is 110,000 coins. So, I'm probably going to end up doing that myself. But what I expect to see out of these sets for the, uh, the Super Bowl promo is probably going to be somewhat similar to the NFL playoffs promo. But maybe not exactly the same in terms of the Eagles, you know, players. Like this or the Eagles captain, Brandon Graham, we could possibly be seeing something like, you know, there's a Drew Brees and maybe they'll release a couple of different players from the Saints they need to get in this set. And then also maybe you'll need to get like a 92 overall, 93 overall from the Super Bowl promo. Not too sure exactly what these sets are going to be like, but you can probably expect them to start out with 95 overalls and go all the way up to like 97, which was they done in, year, in years past. Not sure if they're all going to be the same overall for the Super Bowl Legends in terms of the ones that you can get from the sets, but there's also probably going to be some ones you can get out of packs or even a Super Bowl Legend pack that you guys can get from a set. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see what they decide to do with the Super Bowl promo this year. But I'm very excited to see who's going to get a Super Bowl card. Maybe Drew Brees, maybe Ty Law, Mean Joe Green. It's definitely going to be a lot of fun. And then, of course, do not buy any Super Bowl legends just yet when the promo does drop. Because, of course, on Super Bowl day, when that bundle does come out and that topper is a Super Bowl legend, those prices are going to get destroyed. So definitely hold off on buying any Super Bowl legends. Right off the bat, just wait until Super Bowl Sunday. And of course, that bundle will come out and prices will take a ginormous hit. But if you guys enjoyed the video, 
make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment, and let me know down below what you guys got out of your final Gauntlet Unleashed. What was your best pull from the Auction Bowl and the NAT? Also, what tips from the video are you guys going to do if you guys do the Patriot exchanges? Please, do not open them just yet. Wait until after the Super Bowl. And then, yes, you do have to hold on to them for like a week and hope that the Patriots do win. But in my opinion, I think the Patriots are probably going to win against the Eagles. But if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys next time.